I think we're going to see a big transformation in 2013 to uh, these packages, these very uh, convenient packages that we've placed things into television and video and online video and even second screen um, last year, a lot of the dialogue into a ubiquitous form for consumers, right? So we have to simplify this. Um, you know, everywhere this content is available, um, we're finding it happening. And I think that um, a large part, the content producers, television big producers, have gotten that and understood that. Um, obviously, dramatically more than music or printed, they've really changed their model, right? They're more connected in many ways, and that's why I think when, when we talk about, um, we were looking at online video as a separate entity, now all that television content is finding its way into online video in massive amounts, right? So you may be watching it for appointment TV on HBO or recording on a DVR, but you can also get that through streaming and through other capabilities and, and downloads and some Netflix to everything else. And so I think that it's going to be um, a very connected space that we're in. Um, wherever you want to see it, on whatever device you want to see it on, I think the really big story is, uh, is the story out of, um, out of uh, DirecTV, um, the TV everywhere. Um, I just tweeted about this morning. I mean, it was that's going to be very disruptive for many content producers, saying that you can get our content anywhere, and I think that's going to be a, a, a this is a signal change. I think it's a big signal change to say if you are a subscriber for that service that you could get it anywhere, and I they just went out and did it without Time Warner or anybody else giving permission. So we'll see how that ends up in court, <laughs> but I think that's a big deal towards online video. I mean, if you say you can watch it on our cable program, but you can also watch on any device that you have, you really are changing the game. That's a step change. So I think it, it raises a lot of challenges. So I think it gets down to us being able to collect more data information about who is seeing and where they're seeing it. So therefore, where data in television wasn't very imp as important or wasn't accessible in this connected world of all these other devices, we have so much rich information to understand who's seeing it, where they're seeing it, how they're sharing it, how they're dialoguing about it, how they're using it, that that becomes very important. Therefore, it has to be built into the models of value. And so no longer is it an eyeball, a GRP, but it's going to be a usage issue. How are they seeing it? How are they viewing it? How long did they view it? And how are they interacting with that content? So we have a whole different set of measures that we're going to have to start looking at in terms of value of investment, how we actually measure the value of the investment. And I think, you know, our, I think our clients are traditionally looking forward to that, and they're looking into this. And I think uh, you can see that from the investment in cloud data and data technologies being in the forefront of, I think, everybody's discussion about how we get better at taking information, but, you know, data into information into insights. I think we have lots of information. Turning those into insights around video and video assets will be critical in 2013.